Good morning. <clears throat> We're continuing with the two on the road to Emmaus. There are so many rich ideas. Um, we start with, then Jesus began with Moses and the prophets and explained what the scripture said about himself. Notice, <laughs> the scriptures he's referring to is the Old Testament. Jesus began to teach them um, what they should have known already. And beginning in Moses, and Moses wrote uh, Genesis, uh, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, um, beginning with Moses and all the prophets. Now the prophets, according to the Jewish a text are uh, the history books and the prophets. And uh, there's a one more section called the, the Psalms, which the Psalms is the uh, uh, third major section of the Jewish Old Testament. It's all our books. They're all the same books. But he told them about the Messiah. So if Genesis, through what we would say Malachi, talks about the Messiah, look how big your New Testament has now become. Um, so what did he tell him? Well, the Old Testament tells us he was a seed of woman. Uh, that's impossible um, because uh, women don't carry the seed. Uh, his heel would be bruised. The blessing of Abraham to all nations was the Messiah. The high priest, the order of Melchizedek, the man who wrestled with Jacob it was probably Jesus. Uh, the lion of the tribe of Judah the voice from the burning bush, the Passover lamb, the prophet greater than Moses, the captain of the Lord's army in Joshua, the ultimate kinsman redeemer in uh, Ruth, um, the son of David, who is a greater king than David, the suffering savior, Psalm 22, the good shepherd, Psalm 23, uh, the wisdom of Proverbs, the lover of the song of Solomon, the savior described in the prophets, the suffering servant of Isaiah 53, the princely Messiah of Daniel, uh, the Savior who knows the word of God perfectly because it is his book. It tells us about him. And uh, from the first book to the last book, it's all about Jesus. This describes Jesus, how he taught them. Notice he did a kind of a Calvary Chapel type of approach, verse by verse, and stayed with him. So uh, as they approached Emmaus, Jesus gave the impression that he would continue to travel. But the disciples begged him, stay with us. The day is fading. It's almost evening. Jesus acted as if uh, he might continue to go farther. Um, but uh, they did not want to force him to stay, but they kind of constrained him. They kind of did force him. He wasn't going to force himself on others. Notice he did not want to force himself on others. Good witnessing tool. Don't force the message. Allow the message to seep in. And Jesus had given the message. They wanted to spend more time with Jesus. When I get the time or I take the time, that's when I spend time with Jesus. I will take the time. God bless.